All right. What's up, everybody? Dante Fido here, and I'm bringing you uh, my game that I've started working on in RPG Maker MV, which just came out Friday. So this is what I've managed to get done in about two days, because I spent the whole first day basically learning it, and then working on it yesterday, and then somewhat today, too. Um, so this is my journey to make my own game, basically. So my another game is called Ultimus Viris. Um, which has to do with the storyline, more or less. So, um, basically, the, the plan that I want to do is just upload every episodes every week and then have them name different uh, versions, basically, as I progress through it. So, like, this is version 0 0.1. Next week will be whatever I can get done within that week and then upload it on Sunday, 0 0.2. Or Monday, I guess. Recorded Sunday night and uploaded on Monday. So... Let's go ahead and show you guys version 0 0.1, just so you can see what I've got so far. So, here we go. This is my game that I've made so far. Continue, but we're not going to. I'm going to do a new game. So here you are in your house, and if you move forward, well, here we go again. Testing version 0 0.1, and next week that'll say version 0 0.2. So, pretty standard, you can move around and whatnot. This is our character, Draco. Uh, he has these skills, doesn't have anything on him. He's got no no armor or anything. It's up to you to find. So we've got heal and spark. That is all I've got right now. So, we'll go to this. Ah, oh, here's my stuff. Obtained a shield and sword. Uh, get my clothes under the bed again. I got an eye patch and a cloth vest. So now, we actually have some gear. So we have sword, shield, eye patch, cloth vest. And now we're actually pretty busy here. So here we are in Kyako. That says this is the starting town. And we can go in here, which is a storehouse. There is actually nothing in this storehouse right now. Despite the fact that it's a storehouse, there's nothing in it. Uh, I'm probably gonna definitely add a lot more stuff in there um, in the next version. As well, huh? There's a ring in here. Obtain a blood soaked ring. So, that in, it's found in the bottom of a well, this ring is covered in blood, not water. Weird. Uh, increases magic attack by 20, for sure. You can go in here, this is the weapon shop, we can talk to this guy. Hey, oh, wanna see what I got for sale? Sure, we got for sale. Potion, sword, and shield. And the shield that, the sword that we got is actually weaker than the iron sword that I got off the start. What up, Drago, you're pissed off? I'm sorry to hear that, man. Uh, but, now we can go to... He's probably not going to like me stealing his stuff. But we can get 300 gold and an iron shield. So if we equip the iron shield, that is better than our normal shield, we have an extra 10 defense. So now we have that. We can actually talk to this guy and use his own money to buy potions off him. Apparently a company called Toy Wiz made FNAF keychains and barely got any character rights. Oh, that's Jack, though. <laughs> I actually have a FNAF reference in this game. Um, I'll get to that later, though. So, we can walk around here. There's an inn. Uh, this inn works. Kenji for one night, would you like to stay? You don't have enough money. Oh yeah, I forgot I spent all my money on potions just now. Anyway. They even used a fan character? That's weird. Now this is an abandoned house. If we go over here, huh? The hell is this? It's Sickle and Shane, which is we'll need that later on. I'm just getting it right now. So let's let's say we go to leave. I should probably go to Jazami's house and see if he's there. All right, so we'll go to Jazami's house then. Which, if we check out the sign, it's Jazami's house. So we're going here. Hey Draco, are you looking for Jim? Yeah, I am. Where is he? He's out in the woods. Nice. No problem. Just look out for dragons while you're out there. Mm, no one's seen a dragon in over a hundred years. I'll take my chances. Alright. If we check this drawer... Where does he get all this crap? So we got 500 gold, leather armor, and a fedora. Isn't that great? And then if we check the closet... Why does he hide all this stuff in the clock? We got three potions, three medicines, and one reviver. So the leather armor is actually way better... Then the call fest. No new teaser day either because ninety nine percent of the fan base hated the keychain. Yeah, that's not about right. 
Okay, so now we can go ahead and move forward then. Now we're out in the central island. And this is an orc. This orc actually has a chance to drop a mithril blade, which is an upgrade from uh, the iron sword that I'm using. It's the net like weapon in the tier set. Draco, yes, is on uh, there's a 10% chance he'll drop a, a Mithril Blade. And we got it. We got the Mithril Blade on the first try. Wow. That's crazy. So Mithril Blade does 10 extra damage. So now we want to go to... Alright, there's another one, so you need to do more damage now. There we go, we got that guy. Okay. Another Mithril Blade! What? That's insane. We're going to the forest. So I'm not sure why the background changes to the setting that I'm at right now. Yes, this is the RPG I'm making. Yeah, it is. So this is the background right now. But as soon as I do this, it switches to what it should be, which is the forest setting. I don't know why it doesn't change on the first try. It works on the first try in every other map I do. Heck yeah, man. This is... Okay, so there we go. I'm level 3 and I learned fire. Which I need. So now we'll go up to... Oh, got into a fight right there. And we got 3 bats. That's okay, we'll kill these. So these hit me for 0 because if you got the leather armor earlier, it puts you on enough defense to where the bats can't hurt you. Uh, if you did not get the leather armor that was hidden in the chap cabinet earlier, then you just need to be kicking your ass. So I'm really encouraging people to explore and look around in order to at least progress decently through the game. And every enemy drops a potion, really, so you're not... There we go, okay. Yo, Draco, where you been, man? I was looking for you. Did you get my stuff? Yeah, no. Dude, I need my stuff, man. I'm not gonna last five seconds without it. And then that starts out of it. So, yo, Draco, where you been, man? I look for you. Your stuff? Yes. Yep. Awesome. Wait, did you get all of it? No. Bet you missed the weapon. You don't use weapons. Not with that attitude, I don't. <laughs> yep. Did you get all of it? Yes. Yeah, I got it all. How the hell do you use this thing, anyway? With skills, my dear friend. With skills. What the hell are you doing out here anyway? Trying to find an ice wolf. Why would an ice wolf be all the way out here? I don't know, their leader has been getting more records. I hear they've been using this forest as a staging area. Where exactly did you hear that? Look, man, I know some people that know some people that rob some people. I... Never mind, let's just get out of here. You insist. Because I'm enjoying the party. Wait, did you hear something? Yeah, over there, let's go check it out. Hey, okay. So while you're here, before this, takes, this action kicks in, what up, Jim? <laughs> so before this action kicks in, you can equip Kazami, which you can give him the Sickle and Chain, the Fedora, and the Cloth Fist. And that's all he's got right now. An Ice Wolf. That's not any Ice Wolf, that's Kalto, the leader of the Ice Wolves. Well, aren't you perceptive? Too bad you'll soon be dead. And now we don't get to fight. Since he is an Ice Wolf, he is highly susceptible to fire magic. And he used ice. That's bad. That's gonna kill somebody. Jim is dead. Oh, I hit him for 666. Oh, that's pretty hilarious. Okay, so you get 500 FP, 200, and a high potion. And Draco's level 5 now. Perhaps I underestimated you. You may prove useful. You can live for now. So we actually want to revive Kazami and use a potion. And we. Uh, this fades out, I'm gonna fix that, but if you just wait till you get into combat, you can... it'll reset everything. Ooh, wow, nice crit. You don't wear fedoras? Look, cause zombies in a game and in chat, how about that? Jim, you wear fedoras. So here's another fight with the Ice Wolf, hopefully he doesn't one-shot Jim again. He has a 50-50 chance to either attack or use ice. So, him using ice was really in- Oh god, there it is again. Uh-oh. Hmm. 
the ice to me, so or Draco. Your your main character is Draco, basically. So uh, we want to use the potion on him. Why is he named Draco? That'll be explained later on in the story. Draco's now level six. Zombie's level five. Her got lucky again. And there he is again. So yeah, see, so we did normal attack, which only hits for 300. Just for that. So we just use a potion. Pretty much everything you kill will drop a potion. Um, so it's really encouraged to use potions rather than healing spells until you get higher tier healing spells. Fine, maybe I'll just leave you alone. Uh, yeah, let's kill these bats. Yeah, it'll be it'll be explained in the story later on. Sword Draco is level I think we're going to turn the actual sounds down. Oh no, it is a fort. Hopefully he doesn't use ice in one shot, one of us. That would be really bad. I forgot to heal first. You didn't hear the part I said before it? Uh, I don't remember what I said. Hate fire! Yeah. The most effective way to kill him. This part is really just trying to get out of here. Zombies now level 7. So there are these chests around here uh, throughout the map, but... Insert a mod onto my stream? No, I'm just streaming this like normal. I'm streaming this out of RPG Maker. Um, where's he at? There it is. So all these fights with him are actually not random encounters. I didn't add him to the uh, I didn't add him into the like random encounter loot table. See, all of these points on the map where I'm fighting him are actually positioned. So if you go to these specific zones, you will always fight him. Oh, he's gonna kill somebody. Nah, that won't kill him. Make my mod into a character in the game, you mean Jim? Yeah, I did. Because, but I don't know, it's because it's, it's the reason why he's a mod. He's... Yeah, the mod that's currently streaming. Yeah, because he's like one of my best friends. And he's helping me make this game, so... Yeah. Yeah, so like, there's other chests around the map, but they're honestly not worth going to. You'd really like to know if you play... So if you really want to know what's in there, you'd have to find out when you're actually playing the game.
All the potions. Oh my god. Oh, okay, the hornet's not that bad. Uh, I'm going to save. Oops. Uh, we're just going to run from this. Because these, it hits rather kill those things. Right? So now if we go down here... Hey, you guys are mercenaries, right? Well, I like to think of myself as a bandit, really, but... Shut up, Chim. Yeah, we're mercs. What can we help with? Our town is under attack by some bandits. Can you help us fend them off? We'll pay as much as we can. These people sound poor. Shut up, Kazami. Money isn't everything. It kind of is. You need money for food, clothing, armor, weapons, shelter, protection. Well, you do have a point there. We'll make it worth it, I promise. Oh, well, in that case. Follow me, I'll take you to our town. And now we're in the town. If we check here, huh, another ring. Ice ring. So we want to give this to him, actually. And we'll give Kazami the whipsaw ring, even though he doesn't use magic. We got a archer bandit. Draco is me? Uh, Draco's the main character. I wouldn't say that's me. But whatever. It's a founder. Draco is now level 9. Zombie's now level 8. I'm gonna go in here. This is a vacant house. Why does everyone hide all their stuff in plots? I don't get it. So we got a kunai with chain, which is the upgraded weapon to this. Oh wow, well, what have we here? Studded leather tunic. I like it. I like it. Now, if I was going to make a character named me, he'd be called Fido. So then we can give the Fido Leather Tune to him. And now Jim is pretty freaking well geared. Um, I actually want to keep fighting a little bit. So the whole point of this area uh, is to farm, basically. Zombies now alive. So if we go in here, we have a dark house. Uh, this place is pretty creepy. Yeah, it is. Hey, look at that bear over there. Which is this bear right here. But we're not gonna go to that bear. Because that would be bad. What do we have this time? A candle, hmm? Candle, holy candle. Alright. So we have a holy candle. We don't... We'll, we'll come back here later. We don't want to be here right now. We have a sword bandit. So each of these bandits drop different loot, and uh, they, they have a 100% chance to drop a different item that you kind of need throughout your journey. Like, that dude drops a revival fire, so now you can res people more. So we want to get to about level 15. This is, this is the part where grinding comes in handy. I mean, you don't have to do this by any means, but you're really going to want it. And I want to get to at least level 13 first, zombies level 11, before I do the next part.
which each of these guys, basically every two fights is a level, based on the experience that I put it at, so this doesn't take too long. Okay, here goes level 12. This is a Captain Bandit. This is the hardest enemy on the map right now. And he almost one-shotted him. Nice. And he drops a Mithril Blade and a High Potion every single time. So in case you haven't gotten the Mithril Blade yet from the Orc, which I got two of them earlier, he would drop one so you can get your upgrade that way. Okay, both are level 13 now. That's about what we want. So we're gonna save, and we'll go here. So there's this guy. You. You are the guys who have been killing all my men. And you're nice. Good one, bro. Enough. You both die now. Now we got boss fight time. Shit! That's where the gems are we're gonna need. Yeah, I know. You know the game is too loud. Four thousand cents, P and three thousand gold. High potion. Go to level fourteen, because I'm level fourteen. Nice. Got this chick. Oh, thank you so much for asking us. Here's your reward, as promised. Paying five thousand gold. Wow, guess they weren't that poor after all. What? I have no words for you. So then if we walk over here. Oh damn, this is cool. Obtained a ninja mask. You look like a dork. Don't bad talk me, bro. And you. you made some look like the boss. Whatever. So then if we put that to Zami. It increases his attack and his defense both by 20, so that's a, that's a good upgrade. Uh, I'm actually not done here. I actually need one more level. Okay, so there's level 15 in Iron Blaze, which is what we want. We want him to have Blaze. We're gonna save in case. Well, maybe you'll see what happens. So we want to go up to the ice, uh, ice zone next. Okay, 
Alright, we're good. We one shot people now. Got a Minotaur, which isn't. Normally that would be pretty bad early game, but. Uh, now that we've gotten decent levels, he's not that bad. So now we can go here. So we're in Ice Island. Are we sure we want to go in here? With the power of my blaze magic, I'll melt this place in no time. I hope so. So that's kind of a tip right there, saying that if you don't have blaze by the time you get here, you probably should. So. Yeah, and there's no way to get past there, so. Uh, if you wander over here, though, you'll find another well. And inside this well. Note to self check wells, they contain rings. You got the fire ring. And we go in here. So, this is Kalto's Fortress. Oh, you've made a very big mistake entering my domain. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh, man. I spent a really long time working on this level, so we're going to be here a while. We got ice wolves, but now if we use blaze... It hits for 7 bucks. Zombies now level 15. I honestly... Okay, so we got Nice Ogre, so we want to blaze him. Pretty much everything in here will kill you in one hit, unless you have blaze. Well, it'll, it won't kill you in one hit, it'll kill you in, three or, in two or three hits. But you can keep healing yourself like when I fought the boss, but... Nope, I didn't put anything up there. I'm, tr I'm trying to remember where I put everything. This place is huge. This is also a really good place to level too. Nice dragon. Right. Nice hit. This should probably kill it then since he got that crit. So in this, though, there are actually really awesome items in each of the chests. So we got 10,000 gold. Okay, not that chest. <laughs> I forgot I put money in that chest. Level 19. Probably just use fire on him. Along with his armor normal attack. Unless he misses. Ah, see, so he has the ice rain on, which means he takes zero damage from ice. Um, which is basically the other thing you're gonna need to be able to beat this. Getting warmer though, it's still pretty cold in here. Her fire again. Oh, nice dragon blaze. Hopefully he doesn't kill me. No, I'll get rid of Twenty. Nothing up there. Nope. Yeah, see, that's how hard those things normally hit if you don't kill them. 
one shot. You get a bunch of high potions here, which is kind of good. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to remember where to go. Yeah, I'll give you one right here. Medicine? Sweet. I freaking need those. Gasp, another chest. Do you dare? Okay, seriously, can you stop doing that? No. Adamantite sword. Okay. So that's an awesome upgrade for him. This is damage by 40. Oh, I think I missed a chest. I think I did. This place is freaking huge. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I missed a chest. Yeah, I missed that chest right there. Ah. I don't remember if I need what's in there or not. I don't think I do. It's further up here. Is there a dragon in this game? Yeah, there is. You, I'll, I'll show you the dragon. I'll show you the dragon at the very end, because... Reasons. Should be able to just kill this thing normally. Oh, yeah. Nope. Do I? This is zero. Wow. Wow, he's got enough defense to absorb that now? Oh no, that's right. The uh, the Ice Wolves, their elemental damage is ice. So if you have an Ice Ring on, neither their physical attacks nor their magical attacks will hurt you. Uh, all this way for a dead end. Here, let me give you something anyway. And now we fight a <laughs> an Ice Cerberus. We got another ice ring, so see that wasn't so bad and worth it too. And where it really is, because now I can get the ice ring to him. And now both these guys are immune to ice, so now pretty much nobody can die now. I'm really trying to remember where to go. I'm pretty sure I want to go this way. Yeah, I do. I think. Yeah. The 
this is also a dead end. Yeah, this is a dead end. this way. Nope, it wasn't. Ah, oh, God. He does actual physical damage, though, because he's using a club. He doesn't actually do just ice damage. There's a crap load of high potions, though. There's something right here. Whoa, a teleporter. Blue Rose. Oh, you found that. Please take care of it. It has sentimental value. So we can actually give this to him. It increases attack and defense. And magic to that. Magic to attack. Yeah. Okay. So I actually want to give this. Yeah, we'll actually keep him with the ice cream or give that to. And then you actually can't go back there. As soon as you do that, it takes you back. So make sure you grab that while you're there. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, I need to put that back in front of that. Okay, so that's the thing, is that switching maps resets the tile. Um, and I need to put a thing on the map in order to switch it back. Let me actually do that real quick. There it is, I can show you that. So let me, let me actually close out of the game real quick, and we'll pull up this map. So we are... here. So let me actually just set that up. Bam, you get to see, the at, see it in action here. So we want to change battle background to ice cave with ice maze. Activate upon player touch. Apply go. And then we want to copy. We want to paste that here and here. And then we want to save. And now we're good to play. So now if I go back up here... Ah! And I went the wrong way again. I don't know my own map. That there. Now it should be good. And there it is. Now targets are back on the correct background. So easy way to fix that. Okay. And now we can keep moving. So ice damage hurts him, but he has way more stronger, like, magic damage and everything too, so it's worth the trade-off. 
Well, not for right now, anyway. Why are there so many holes in this place? Some things just fall apart after enough time. Right there. I can almost see you from here through that wall. Now we finally get to the freaking boss. But before we do that, we want this chest. Because it has a sickle whip. And the sickle whip is the next item after the kunai would change. This is damage by 20. Now we're ready for this. Wait, I want to save for this. There's a few things to show off here. This is this is where I put a lot of the story work in here. It's when you're talking about Well, here we are. You finally made it. This place is a freaking maze. That was the idea. Though I am surprised you made it this far. You continue to be resourceful. You ready for a beatdown? My my. So eager for a fight? No or yes? Yes. Let's fight. You've been telling us this entire time. It's time for some payback. Payback. After you assaulted me in the forest earlier, you come into my domain, attack my troops, and say it's payback? It's kind of not a point. No matter if it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. No holding back this time. So another music is going to get really loud because I'm going to turn on boss music. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. So you get a Death Scythe and the Runic Armor. Yeah, ugh, ugh, you'll regret that. And then he's gone. So, yeah. So if you equip the Runic Armor, uh, it's armor that's nearly indestructible. It's got a crap load of. It increases your attack, it almost doubles your defense. Um. And it has the special property of making it so that you only take 10% physical damage. So when that ogre hits you for like 500, he's only going to hit you for like 50 instead. So there's that, but you also missed out on some stuff. So we're going to go ahead and reload, and I'll show you what happens if you choose not to fight him. Say no. I'm sure there's a better way to handle this. Hmm, perhaps you are susceptible to reason. You know, I could use worthy men like yourself. Especially since you just slaughtered half my army to get here. Whoa, you're not honestly thinking about working for this free party. Mind your tongue, child. The adults are talking. The f I don't quite fancy being anyone's lapdog, especially an actual dog's. Oh, haha, -ha, that's really cute. What if you join us? We're on a quest. Quest, you say? Looks more like you're just wandering about aimlessly. What exactly are you questing for? Ultimate power. Power Ridger. Shut up, Jim. <laughs> and how exactly do you plan on gaining this ultimate power? We can either end the war or we can find the Dream Blade. What do either of those things mean? I don't know. Let's end the war. We're going to end the war. Oh, end the war, you two? Please, do tell how you'll manage that. Well, first we need to unite the other clans. It would go in a long way if you came with us and help us. By the Sun Stars! You don't know anything about elemental politics, do you? There's a war going on for a reason, we're not all... We're all not exactly on speaking terms. Surely the Ice Clan doesn't fight alone. You know, we're allied with, oddly enough, the Fire Clan. The two most dangerous of the elements work together for a common goal. Didn't see that coming. What about the key treaty with King Sigmund? That treaty, as you call it, was nothing... Was never meant to pacify anyone. We simply leave you humans alive for the support of them. That's what's happening. Anyway, what if I told you I'm actually an ambassador from the king looking to unite the clans into one banner for the greater good? I'd say you're insane, but I've heard less likely stories. Perhaps this is worth pursuing. So you'll join us then? Yes, I'll lend my scythe for now. 
And Kalto joins the party. So if you on our team, or your troops will stand down now, right? Ha! Oddly, they'll still try to rip you to shreds, though, there's n though they're no threat to me. I'm really starting to not like this guy. Relax. So now we have Kalto on the party, who is already level 30. So you should be about level 30 by the time you get here slash finish with here. That way you're around the same level as him. So I got to 24, which isn't bad. That's, that's about right. So let's... Reload this, and we'll do the other one now. So let's find the Dream Blade. We're going to find the Dream Blade. The Dream Blade? That's a myth. No one even knows if, it actually, if it's actually real. Well, we're going to find out. Sounds like a fool's errand. With the Nightmare, or if, though if the Dream Blade is combined with the Nightmare Halberd, it is said to give the real ultimate power. That sounds interesting. It would seem so. It does sound like a worthy quest. It pays off, with that kind of power, no one from the clan would be able to stop me. Uh, is he talking to himself? What? Ahem. I have decided to join you. Seems the end result could be quite beneficial for me. Us. Alright, it's settled. Welcome aboard. Also joins the party. So since you're on our side now, your monsters are gonna back off, right? What? Of course not. You're technically still intruding. They're not any threat to me anyway. I really don't like this guy. Take it easy, he's not that bad. So different, different dialogue depending on your choices. Yeah, not fighting him is way worth it, and, and I'll show you here. So this is what he's equipped with, and those are his stats. He has the Death Scythe, the Ice Wolf Helm, Kalto's Helmet, and Kalto's Mate Armor. And then a ring that he always wears. I honestly don't remember what the ring is. So let's... So if we get into a fight... Um... We'll have him attack, him attack, him attack. So Kalto goes first, because he's the fastest. And he one-shots everybody. And that's with his normal attack. That's just his auto attack that doesn't. Oh yeah, I want to go over here. Got one piece of chest. So we'll have Kalto use his freeze magic. It it does the same damage as Draco's Blaze, uh, except it does uh, ice damage instead. So and we get leather ring mail, which can be given to Kazami and is an upgrade from that. So yes, you definitely if you definitely want to keep Kalto alive, you you don't want to fight him. Although if you do fight him and you get that runic armor, it is almost the best armor in the game so far. Like even end game, I kind of still keep it because it reduces physical damage done uh, by or makes it so all physical damage is ten percent. Kalto is also, uh, even without, like, if I were to take off all of Kalto's gear, he's still automatically immune to ice damage, just being that his class, uh, is an ice elemental. So now, normally I would have to go all the way back here, but if you have, if you have Kalto on your team, here, there's a secret passion over here. So you go over here. And now we're outside here. So now we're back outside. And we still have Kalto on our team. So now that we have Kalto on our team, uh, let me save real quick. We can go back to the Dark House, because you have to have the Dark House, or you have to have Kalto on your team if you want to beat the Dark House. And I'll show you why. So we can actually just run from these. There's no reason to fight this. Now we go to the dark house, and we talk to the bear. This place will be your eternal grave. Wait, what? Now you will die. Can't we talk about this? No. Mwahaha. So this guy is, because he was inside a bear, he is the ghost of Freddy. So now we want to use our magic that we have. Uh, in order to beat this guy. This right now is the strongest enemy in the game. And he's going to do his attack ready for Freddy. Which clearly he was not ready for Freddy based on that damage. Oh man, if he does that to Kalto, I'm screwed. 
Oh shit. Ooh, ow. Okay, alright. Um, let's actually. Let's revive. Caldo. And hope he doesn't do that again, John. Okay, yeah, alright, good. He can do it if he's zombies, I'm okay with it. So we kill him and we get 9,999 XP, 9,999 gold, and we get a flashlight. And Kalto is now level 31. I will return. I always do. So now we get a flashlight. And the flashlight. This helps protect against the darkness. So I don't think I have any other revivers. I don't. So there's one more thing I can show you here. Let me make it back to the town. Okay. So you just go back to town real quick. And rest in the end. Pretty Fazbear reference? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a FNAF reference I put in there just for the lols. Okay, so now that we got him alive, and everybody's alive, I can show you the last part of the game. So there's one thing left, and there's... So, as mentioned earlier, there are, there are dragons in the game in the overworld, and there is a really small chance that you can run into one. So that's what I'm going to try to do now. This is the last part, is run into a dragon. There's, there's about a 10% chance while you're out in the overworld to fight a dragon. So we'll see if we can get one. It takes a little bit. It's I've actually gotten the dragon to pop up on the second fight I've done, and I was like, oh, that's not good. It was when I was actually trying to test the game, too, and I was like, God. Dragon doesn't want to show up here yet. Jeez, don't know dragon. This is why no one's seen him in a hundred years. I'm gonna need beta testers, right? Man! Still no dragon. He's being elusive tonight. Man, this is crazy. I can't believe he's still nothing. I swear he's in the game. I swear I put him in there. Jeez, still no dragon. Drago, make the dragon show up, man. I can edit it via 100% encounter rate? Yeah, I know I can, but it's not supposed to be, that's the point. I want it, I want it to show up like normal. Drago, made the dragon spawn. The 
You can't summon wild dragons? Why not, dude? Trader, I need you to summon the dragon. You can only summon trained ones? Of course. I should have known you're a dragon trainer. This is crazy. I've never gone this long without at least running into him. Normally, he... I get him about every 10 battles, just because it is a 10% chance. Man, I wish I got these odds every time I try to test the game. Half the time when I'm trying to do something new, he'll pop up and just kill me. I swear he's around here. Dragon hates me, right? For real, dude. Dragon does not want any part of this. Dragon knows I'll give him a vicious beatdown. Let's start taunting him, that'll work. Man, this is crazy, dude. Right? Come on, dragon, come at me. I dare ya. See what happens. I got Kalto on my team now. He's a super OP and broken. I totally haven't balanced him at all. This is crazy, man. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm screwed. Dragon Breath. And that's what happens when you run into the dragon. So there is a really, as you can tell, small chance that can happen to you. I've literally had it happen though, like, walked onto the map from starting a new game and the dragon was the first thing I fought and it killed me. Yeah, he's instant death. If, as you can see, you like, never ever find him, but when you do find him, he kills you in one hit. So... That is it. That is my game so far. That's everything I've got. That took me two days to put together. So, yeah. That is my game. So, he's like Golden Freddy from FNAF 2 RPG, except without the screeching. I don't know. I haven't played any of the FNAF RPGs, so... I guess, yeah, maybe... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think I got a damn good, decent ways into it for only playing for two or for only doing it for two days. Most of Friday and Saturday was learning how to do everything, and then all Sunday night I was like, oh my god, I can do all the things, and I just started putting crap together. 
So, but yeah, I plan to I plan to do a video every Sunday showing what all I've added in over the week. Especially like every night when I come home from work and then what I can do over the weekend and everything. I can I can put a lot into this. So, I plan to upload new versions every every week. So, this was version 0.1, next week will be version 0.2. And we, that way you'll be able to see what all I've done uh, from week to week and watch as I slowly put the entire team uh, entire game together. So thanks for checking out, Drago dude. It was awesome having you watch me do all this live. Uh, you're awesome, man. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here, and I will see you guys. I will see you guys on Hollow's Eve for the start of the Horror Fest, where I'm playing Paranormal, um, Spooky House of Jump Scares, and all four Five Nights at Freddy's games, leading into Halloween night. So, I will see you guys then. Look forward to that this Friday. That's going to be awesome. Up until then, leading up to Friday, I'm going to be working on this game like crazy. Yeah, that happens, man. Don't worry about it. Don't sweat it, bro. But, anyway. You guys are awesome for checking this out. Hopefully, I can really go somewhere with this. That's the plan. And uh, hopefully, it becomes a pretty good game. Spookies is overrated. Eh, yeah. It's fun to play, though. I need, I need a horror game to go through. But, anyway. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.